Hey, welcome again to High Five. Come up higher with me and let's soar like eagles. You know, the Bible talks 26 times about eagles and, and it, it, it wants us, to, God wants us to be like eagles. And there's a lot of things that we can learn about our Christian life by eagles. And today I'm talking about who imprinted you. You know, Sandy Warner had a great book about eagle facts and parables on mentoring. And, and she said, uh, eagles are born with a different instinct called imprinting. They don't instinctively do things. They do things by watching. And um, it says here, I'm, I'm just going to read this. Um, At birth, eagles go through a process called imprinting. Uh, for bald eagles, this critical period is from nine days to six weeks of age until the nine days old that chicks eyes cannot focus well enough to distinguish humans from mother eagles however at nine days and up to six weeks of age the baby chick will imprint on a human if the human be appears to be its food source so i'm saying who are you following you can't be an eagle if you're going to follow the turkeys you can't be an eagle if you're with the people that just are looking at this ground and eating from this ground we have to be able to get our source and our supply from above from it it's got to be spirit we, we, we are going to excel from within and we learn a lot about that on e from eagles you know, bird shelters, if they find a bird's egg or an eagle's egg, they, um, they have to, uh, they, ha they have to ha use a puppet to, f uh, eagle puppet to feed that eagle or, uh, that, that eagle is not going to know, uh, who its real source is. And, uh, you know, it kind of makes me, uh, Angry, it, it kind of really does make me angry, and and it very much concerns me that our our little children in kindergarten are being fed things such as um, uh, homosexual marriage, uh, anal sex, oral sex. It, it, th this is not to be. They're going to follow things, you know. As we are, we are made to follow, and and if you watch, if, if there's a baby in the room they will watch a toddler. Their eyes will follow everything the toddler does. The toddler will start watching somebody right above him and so on. And we follow those that, uh, you know, that are bigger than us, that are larger than us. Now, some of us are following the wrong people. We're following um, some that are turkeys, some that are just mimicking, like, a, a, you know, some birds, all they do is mimic. You know, you say hello, they say hello, you know. And so some of these are not getting their true source from above. And they'll never soar like eagles unless you get your, uh, your food from a spiritual source from above. So who is imprinting you? You know, the, Paul said, follow me as I am following Christ. He didn't say... Um, you know, follow me in everything I do. He said, as I follow Christ, if you see me doing something that is not Christ-like, don't, don't do that. Pray for me. You know, but we are, we are to follow, we are to imitate Christ in everything we do. And, and so that's my message for you today is, is who imprinted you? Because eagles will imprint. You know, there's a story of an eagle that was born, and when 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 he was hatched, there was a ping pong ball next to him, and he wanted to follow something that was fat, you know, all the time. And so, you know, if if that's if that's what you want to do, that's your choice. You know, every day we're given a choice. And today, I, I say, choose life, choose life, choose Christ. Try, try to be more Christ-like in everything you do. Try to, try to walk in love, try to walk in forgiveness. And the best way to do this is when you rise early, give him your first. Give him your first time. Give, give him your first adoration. Just give him your first. And, uh, and you will come up higher. You'll come up higher if you, get, if you just, you know, I have a, I have a Bible plan. I've had it for, oh, I'm sure it's over 20 years. Andrew Womack, in his Bible school, um, he realized that a lot of the students did not read the Bible through a year. And so he made a Bible plan, and you check off each, you know, 
may, maybe today you're in John, tomorrow you're in Leviticus, today I'm in Leviticus, <laughs> pray for me. <laughs> and so, um, it, you know, but you check off and then at the end of the year, then you see that, uh, you know, where, how far you've come in reading the Bible. And if you make that a habit, if you make that a habit to read, to read the Bible first thing in the morning, uh, you know, give them your first, maybe you get out of the bed and you have to go worship, just talk to the Lord in the shower, give him your first and you're going to come up higher. You're going to notice your day is going to be better. You're going to be stronger. There's going to be more peace. Now I have to, I have to make a a confession. I forgot to start my timer, so I have no idea how long I've been on here. But I'm just charging you today. Just check yourself. Who's imprinting you? Are they acting like Christ? Are they mimicking Christ? Are they following Christ? Paul said, follow, imitate me as I imitate Christ. Thank you for being with me today. God bless you. Bye-bye.